Hello guys and welcome to my second channel. Today we have episode 3 of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, uh, you know, the book that we're reading in, uh, in Google uh, have the uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roger Corals and I don't know uh, what. You know, I mean there is two stories in this book. So it's I think it's better than, re than uh, reading other books. So I just tried the video's name, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay, but... There's that for Mickey Roger Cole for it, okay? Now, uh, let's try, uh, to, uh, let's start episode 3 for uh, 10 pages. This is page 21 as we are in, so let's start reading. The only good thing about getting a little brother is that now, Roderick doesn't make me sell his stupid chocolate bars for, for school fundraisers anymore. Before, um, hello sir, would you like to help support not interested? Now, would you like some chocolates? How precious. The worst thing about Manny is that when he was real little, he couldn't pronounce brother, so he started calling me Bubby. And mom and dad didn't make him call me my real name even when he could say it. That's horrible. Luckily, none of my friends have found out yet, but I have had some really close calls. Happy birthday, Greg. Hey, this one says it's to Bubby. Must be a mistake. He get he got out of that one. Friday, 10 September. Yesterday was the first day of PE, and we started the football unit. The first thing I did was sneak off to the basketball courts and check to see if the cheese was still wet. It was at the end of the last year, last school year, and sure enough, it was. That thing has been sitting on the court since at least last fall, and it has caused a whole lot of trouble. It's all moldy and nasty, and ever since it showed up, people have been trying to avoid it. To give you an idea of how people go out of their way to stay away from the cheese, it's sitting right under the only hoop with a net in it, but nobody's played on that court for a year. The Ronald Washington tripped and fell and brushed to the cheese with his finger last year and started this whole thing called the cheese touch. It's basically like cooties, where if you get touched with the cheese touch, then you have it until you pass it on to somebody else. Scream. The only way to protect yourself from the cheese touch was to cross your fingers. But it was really hard to remember to keep your fingers crossed all the time, especially when whoever had the cheese touch was looking for his next victim. So I tapped my fingers together for the last couple of weeks of school. I ended up getting a D in handwriting, but it was totally worth it. This one kid named Abby Hall got the cheese touch in April. Nobody would even sit at the same table with him at lunch for the whole rest of the year. This summer he moved away to California and he took the cheese touch with him. Nobody has touched the cheese ever since then, not even with a stick. Saturday, 11th September. Well, the first week of school is finally over, so I can sleep late again. Most kids set their alarms and get up early on Saturday's morning to watch cartoons or whatever. But not me. The way I know it's time for me to crawl out of bed is when I can't stand the taste of my breath anymore. Unfortunately, Dad wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning, no matter what day it is, and he is not real considerate of the fact that I, I am trying to enjoy my Saturday. Vroom! Other than the Saturday morning, Vacuum and me and Dad get along pretty good. But Roderick and Dad is another story. It doesn't help that Roderick is a teenager, which is Dad's least favorite type of person. Greg's dad doesn't love teenagers. I think if there was a petition to ship all of the teenagers in the state to Australia or Alcatraz or something, that would be the first person to sign it. And the first teenager he put on the boat would be this kid named Lenwood Heath. Lenwood is always toilet paper in people's houses and generally stirring up trouble in the neighborhood. Dad, nab you rodent teenagers. That has seemed a lot more relaxed ever since August when Lenwood stat shipped him off to some military academy in Pennsylvania. Well, I'm on the subject of Saturday, I should mention some of my other gripes. <clears throat> First of all, there is nothing on TV after 1 p.m. except golf and bowling. Second of all, the sun comes right through the sliding glass window and you can hardly see what's on the TV anyway. 
and on top of that you get all sweaty and stick to the coach. It's practically like a conspiracy against kids to make them go outside and do something besides watch TV. That's a gutter ball day, but that's horrible. So guys, um, these are the 10 pages. I hope the video is good. You know, there is a, a blue thing here uh, in the middle of the video, but uh, I hope it doesn't, doesn't disturb you. Um, so I hope the video is good, and I hope you. And if the video, you, if you like the video, click like button and subscribe because I have five subscribers, and uh, I think everyone who do to me like it or subscribe or even just a view. It's not important, but I have I, I want for you to read these things because it makes you learn. So uh, I'll see you in episode four for a diary for the kid for the next ten pages. Goodbye.